Just under 13 and a half remaining on the clock for the Colonials and Golden Griffins and a scoreless tie here in the first period. Kramer still on the ice waiting for a pass that didn't come from Schaefer. Now they'll change positions on the opposite point. Shot comes in and it goes into the high corner. Oh, what a corner picked by Jordan Timmons to get the first goal of the game. It's one nothing Colonials start the engine, Jordan Timmons. Jordan Timmons, the transfer from UConn, and uh, what were we saying a second ago, Tim? You got to make plays below the goal line. He starts it by knocking down oh. a Canisius defender and then takes that loose puck, whirls around. Still one nothing Colonials, 442 remaining here in the first period. Adamo coming in with Timmons, who has the goal. Shot, score, Justin Adamo, Adamo Lama, ding dong, and it's two to nothing. Colonials out in front. Go to the net and let it rip. That's what uh, Justin Adamo didn't do enough of last night. And uh, no doubt uh, that suggestion was made to him and good clean breakout that time. Beating Barczewski and giving the Colonials a 2-0 lead. Both faceoff men fall to the ice. And now we got a whistle. I wonder if we got a penalty here on the faceoff. They might send both of them, do you think, Mike? And somebody threw an elbow on the faceoff, I think is yeah. what they're saying. Is that the indication you got? Either that or the, uh, not just after losing last night, but the particulars that he outlined for us. Graval to Master now shot. Oh, just missed. That hit the post. Or just get a piece of Lubesmeyer, maybe. I, I, I couldn't. The wall to pass it into Perkusik. Drive coming from Hart to Kynan. Gets it to Hart to Kynan. Shot and another save by Barczewski. Wow, the athleticism on display from Barczewski. Great saucer pass by Perkusik. Better save. Master Donato setting up as one of the Golden Griffins went flying into the end boards. That's going to be a whistle against is Robert Ma Morris. Is that Martin? It's a tripping call. And it's going to be Tyler Love who's going to go into the penalty box. Just the second infraction we've Last seen. Place. In well, Hamlin did the Mike Pursuit a favorite. Oh, so we've got another penalty or is that an offsides? No, I think that's another oh, it's one. That's another one. No. Really test that penalty kill now. Yeah. on him. Goes through the Clearview logo. Now Gravel skates around. Master now tripped up, gets back up on his blades, and they're, another penalty coming. They're going to call Jenny for interference, I think. Wow. So the goalie is, we love the PK last night. Meyer gets it down low. Lubas Meyer, that one gets by him. Vertanen scores. He's had a lot of opportunities today and throughout the weekend. Now Vertanen gets his first goal as a college hockey player. They like it in Pori, Finland, and it's 2-1. to one as the Golden Griffins have drawn a little bit closer on the five on three. A lot tonight. Now Eber finally gets on the ice. That shot goes in from the point. Might have hit a body on the way in, but Nolan Schaefer was the one who fired it. And if that's a goal that goes cleanly to Schaefer, it's his third point of the afternoon. Nolan Schaefer, two on one if they hurry for the Golden Griffins. Shot comes in and a score. A response right away for Canisius as it's now three to two. That looked like Mitchell Martin, who's gonna get credit for the goal as he streaks into the zone. Lots of offensive speed on that rush for Canisius and it's three to two as they answer right back after the RMU goal. Look at the speed entering the offensive zone, Mike. It, it, but the Colonials have three back. They've got everybody covered. As Adamo, Iber and Timmons all have goals, and now we got a whistle behind the play. Is this going to be the first power play chance for the Colonials tonight? It appears Colonials it will. screaming for a high sticking penalty. Somebody knocked uh, Jordan Timmons' helmet off. And it's kicked away, and here's a chance coming shorthanded for Graval if he can hurry. Graval trying to catch up to it. Shot coming in on Lubesmeyer, and they're going to call it a goal. Shorthanded. The net comes off. Let's see if this one gets reviewed. It was a net that came off previously, Mike, last night that for uh, some reason the officials felt like a uh, Affected the shot of the goal and was taken off the board, but for now, face off, it'll shove afterwards into the face of Granty e. Bear. Now Adamo streaking down left wing. Adamo puts a move on back in and he scores. Oh, Justin Adamo scores the goal to make it four to three. Vive la France! Justin Adamo gives the Colonials the lead back. He's checking. Swooping his way through the defensive zone, deflection shot, rebound, score, and it's four to four as the captain, Grant Meyer, comes through with the goal and we're knotted back up again as we've just eclipsed the seven minute mark remaining in the third. It's a 4-4 hockey game. And another one of those goals, uh, the kind we've seen too often this season, Tim. Luke Meyer able to make the initial save, but uh, as he can out of his offensive lines as possible. 
Bobbling puck chance here for Perkusik. Rebound goes off Barcheski. Now he bears on top of Lambert, who fell down in front of his own goaltender. Wow, how did that stay out? What an opportunity for Nick Perkusik. Now Kramer to Perkusik. To Hart to Kynan. On the backhand, Hart to Kynan. Shot to score from Hernandez. Hart to Kynan feeds Hernandez. And for the second time already in his freshman season, Hernandez gets a third period goal to give the Colonials the lead. Hart's on fire. Randy Hernandez puts the Colonials on top, five to four. Boy, Hart to Kynan's not gonna get credit for the goal, Tim, but it was... Uh... Just seven seconds left to go. Canisius has to hurry to get it free and get one more shot. There's a pass in front deflected away from Lubsmeyer into the corner. Shot goes through the crease, that'll do it. Leave the lights on at the ground round. Five to four, final score. The Colonials come back and win game two against Canisius after the Griffins took game one.